this bitch. Blair, we got a pretty good high tide right now, so these fish will kind of be spread out and harder to see. If that tide drops will be easier to see, but just kind of work one deep, then work your way up towards the bank. There. Ooh, Ooh, that felt like a good hit. And if we just get one of those snook to eat that we've yeah. seen, oh my god, that that would be nice. Monsters. Seen some snook along this bank, guys, that are like this tall. They're huge. True mogans in shallow water. <laughs> If you notice one thing I'm not doing, I'm not really twitching my rod tip a lot with this. What this paddle tail does on this new bait, the hydrodynamics of it really makes that tail wag. And what we've done, we got a custom little cut in there that we did, just manipulated the bait a little bit to give it just a little bit more action. And that tail absolutely just sits there and flutters. If y'all see this, it comes through the water. It absolutely wags really, really good. Let's see if I can get a fish with it. There's a yeah. fish. Right yeah. there. <clears throat> oh, looks like a trowski. Unlike some of those big snook we've been seeing early. Good job, boy. You want to put that talon down, hold it here, yeah. Chuck? There we go. Little trout. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, he's not quite a grown one, but that one will do. Well, welcome to this episode of Addicta Fishing. We are in the land of where these giants grow. As far as I'm saying, giants, big Mogan trout, big giant snook. We've been working a shoreline here. Absolutely seeing some monster snook. So, hope we're going to show you some of those. We're fishing with Captain Christian Jurgens, And we're going to let him go. But uh, y'all stay tuned. We'll be right back. I'm going to show you some big trout and hopefully some great big snook today. We'll be right back. Let's go then. Yeah. Fish on, brother. There you go. Nice one. <laughs> about that one? That's nice. I was sitting there burning it in trying to get it to that oh, other yeah. fish you just saw. and. Come on, thumper. Well, welcome back folks. The, the wind's kind of picking up on us. We're getting right back in here on, along the lee side of the shoreline, just trying to pick off as much as we can. So hopefully we're gonna show you one of them big snooky or another big trout. This kind of looks a lot like the Banana River, Christian. I mean, we got the same problem you do as far as the grass dying. It's really like a desert around here. I mean, after the freeze, it just started dying so fast and I haven't heard, you know, what's causing it. Well, one thing the, the biologist told me up there around Mesquite Lagoon is that back in 2010, when we had that big freeze, uh, all the fish that died, it just dumped in a bunch of nutrients into the water. And the zooplankton that feed on the brown algae, there was none left because they died and made that brown algae just multiply and multiply. And it started feeding on the grass and just choking the grass out. So hopefully with this cleaner water and this real light uh, winter we're having this year, Hopefully it didn't kill it off too bad and it's gonna come back. I'm trying. How's that? There he is. Right there. Good job. That feels like a good fish. Oh, it's one of them big trout. You wanna throw that talon down? Yep. That's one of them nice sea trout right there. Just like we've been talking about. What do you think? That's a little bit of a grown one there? Yeah. They're definitely getting bigger, huh? Yeah, definitely. Change it out to that cow bait and he jumped all over that. Beautiful fish, huh? You gotta love this. Big sea trout, seeing giant snook. Uh, hopefully we can show you one of them big old snook a little bit later. But this dude right here. Uh, is a nice little sea trout. Ate up that cow. See what I did? I changed out to that cow bait because I've been seeing a bunch of little tiny baits running around here. Every once in a while we're seeing these trout like this come up and smack them. So I went down from that big bait, started throwing a little bit smaller bait. Man, that is, you know, they don't get much prettier than that right yeah, there. Yeah, look at 
All the spots on its tail. Yeah, spots all over, man. That's a beautiful fish. Pretty one. He chomped down on my finger, brother. <laughs> oh my God. Hey, it's going to be a good day. Bleeding. Bleeding. First blood. Don't lip a sea trout. First blood. This will put a hurting on you. Ouch. I always say it's going to be a good day when I'm bleeding. We're going to catch a big one now. You watch. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. Speaking of no grass, Christian, this one here ain't got hardly any on it, does it? Nah, it doesn't. This is a desert flat right here. But you'll be able to see them. Vero Beach desert fishing. A couple of, a couple of patches out there. Blair, three o'clock, big drop. Swimming right. Got him. There's a fish on it. Oh, it's a red. You hit it? Yeah. Fish on, brother. There you go, nice work. <laughs> How about that one? That's nice. I was sitting there burning it in, trying to get it to that I other am. fish you just saw, and boom, I felt something like it was getting chased. Show sure enough, brother. Show sure right enough. On. He was sitting right on that grass piece right over there. Nice work. Not a bad redfish either. You gotta be careful. I went down to 15 pound test on my leader because this water's so clear. And gave it a nice long piece of leader. And he jumped on it as I was burning it. Pretty fish. Mm-hmm. Upper slot. Yeah. So redfish will always save the day when you need something to pull on the end of your line. They just started showing up down here pretty yeah, quick, didn't they? Yeah, I mean, real thick. Um, you know, we had the freeze and, you know, killed a bunch of snook. You know, the trout made it fine, but the redfish, we've definitely had better redfishing than we've had you know, in past years. They, they really came on strong. And I'm calling that the, thing down. Yep. Especially on a day when you're seeing nothing but all these fish swim by you, swim by you, swim by you. Big trout out there just swimming by. To get a bit ranger. I might be able to grab this guy now. He might be overslot. <laughs> he grew, I'll tell you what. He ate that yeah, cow up, I'll tell you what. He did gulp it good. <sighs> Come here, lay over for Blair. Looking like I did that trout and come up with a little stomp. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Nice fish. Lovely little cow. Looks like something took a chunk out of his back. He's got a score on that side. You look at him on this side. Looks like something hit him. Maybe a prop, porpoise. Something got a hold of him. That's a pretty redfish. Yes, sir. That one there has definitely got a chunk out of him. I'm gonna let him go over on this side so we can watch him swim away. Oh. Nice fish. And there he goes. Don't get much prettier than that, does it, brother? Nah, man. Good job. Good job, man. Well, I think I'll get rigged up. One, let me show you what we've done here now. The water is so crystal clear, I've dropped this leader down to 15-pound test cigar fluorocarbon on here just because they've been shying away from it. The snook have been kind of every once in a while looking at it and then taking off real quick. So I went down to like a, oh, I got probably 10 foot a liter on here, just to, just so they don't see the line. I think they're seeing the line. They're probably not, but uh, I don't know. We just proved Can't ever be too careful. Can't ever be too <laughs> careful, especially when they're doing what they're doing to us today, and that's spooking a lot. It's just uh, high pressure coming in. We got a, got a front that's bearing down on us right now, and uh, hopefully they're gonna turn on real good here. Hadn't been too, too bad so yeah, far. Yeah, man. I yeah. wanna see one of them great big ones. Hey, y'all stay tuned, we're gonna be right back. Captain Christian Jurgens right here in Vero Beach on uh, what he's been calling the desert flat. <laughs> Let's go then. Ooh. 
There's a fear. That's a serious fear, yeah. yeah. boy. Yeah. Oh. There goes one of those trout I was just talking about. See the vapor trail? <laughs> Well, welcome back, folks. As you can see, we're on the windblown bank right now, and it is absolutely howling out here today. Christian says uh, he likes fishing it like this because a lot of brine and stuff get blown up. Just like freshwater, you don't want to fish the windblown banks. Everything that these fish are feeding on just kind of gets concentrated up on a bank instead of spread out. So, so we're uh, going to give it a shot and see what happens. It's not as much fun to fish, but very productive. Yeah, I've noticed that myself on windy days. There he is, right yeah. there. Flounder. No, oh, yeah. that's a nice trout, boy! Come on. <laughs> you know you're hooked. Looks like a flounder when he first kind of hit it. <laughs> you want to put that talon down, it'll stop yeah, us. Yeah. Just hang on, because right, it'll stop you in a heartbeat. Gorgeous trout in here. You know, you might not have any grass flats anymore here, but I tell you what, the uh, the trout are sure cooperating. They are. Fine. There's one the other one with them. Ah. <laughs> Man, grab a buddy. Think that wind's blowing a little, folks? Christian is back there, almost getting blown off the platform, and I'm up here having all the fun. But if you want to come book him, he'll do the same thing for you too. That's a pretty one there. Uh, pretty much you got clients, Christian. They're only gonna be able to keep one one trout, aren't they? Yeah. Every one of these fish are over 20 inches. A good fish. Have you, uh, have they changed the limits here? The, the size limits on them? No, they haven't. I don't wanna stick my finger in his mouth again. But look at that pretty fish. Everybody wonders why I like trout so much. They're just, they're just so beautiful. Absolutely beautiful fish. Pretty fish. If you notice one thing I'm doing, folks, every time I'm grabbing these fish, not only do I support their belly, off he goes. Pretty fish. Good job, awesome, Larry. Huh? If you notice one thing, folks, one thing I'm doing before I ever grab these trout is I'm wetting my hands first. And what that does, it enables me to grab these fish and release them without those scales getting stuck to my hands if I had a dry hand. So when you're releasing them, make sure you grab them with wet hands and you'll be able to come back and catch them one day again when they get real big, so. That's what I tell my clients too, Blair. It's a great idea. I'm gonna catch me another one. I hope. I hope so too. Blair, you see this edge right here in front of us? Yeah. You got it. Just, you want to cast up pretty far and about 15 feet up on it and make it come off that edge. And let it just come off that drop off where it turns to the dark. Whatever's cruising on that edge feeding, ought to hammer it. Hey, yeah. Uh, just looks like a bait fish coming, falling off that edge and they just swoop them right up. Well, let's hope so. Oh, there's a fish. Yeah. That's a yeah. serious fish yeah. there, boy. Yeah. yeah. Nice. I'm going to put the talon down. All right. Talon down. Oh, it's a that's trout, not... dude. It is? Jeez. That's a trout. Oh, man, that's a big one. That is a trout and a half. Oh, gosh. Oh. Woo, come big here, trout. big boy. Nice. Captain Christian Ergen says, just keep tossing it, brother. He'll hit it, he'll hit it. Look at that fish. Nice work. That is a monster trout, fellas. That's the biggest trout I think we got on the show so far. We'll just tire him out, tucker him out. And hopefully. That's a good one. Told you I was gonna get one on this stick. Yeah. We have been throwing all day long, all day long, and finally, we got one of these big boys to connect. Whew. Come here, dude, come here. 
That is a serious fish there. Come here, come here. Y'all ready for this one? How about that for a sea trout? Nice fish. Is that pretty or what, brother? Oh, man, that's a good one. Hey, pull it out at the end of the day with a big old trout like that. Nice. Ready. Let me get that hook out of there. Don't clamp down on me. That truck car did his job, brother. One more time. That right there is what you come to Vero Beach for. Home of the world record trout. What was it, 17 pounds, 17, 17 ounces? Yeah. That right fish. there is a monster. An absolute monster. Gator. Is that a beautiful yellow mouth or that what? It is, man. They got the red and everything in there. Nice. Got a gator teeth in the front. What a fish. That is a beautiful specimen of a trout right there. Thick back on her. Thick. Mm -hmm. Nine, ten pounds? Yeah. Woo! There. That's the way to do it. That's a good one, Blair. Good job. That is what you come to Vero Beach. Ooh, there Ooh. he goes. Guess he was ready, huh? Yeah. That, brother, was one awesome fish. Let me show you guys what I got him on. Brand new from DOA in 2013. It's called the Airhead. One awesome new bait from DOA right there. And there ain't nothing that gets me going off more than those big trout like that. I'm just, I'm shaking like a leaf. Tell you what, I'm gonna regroup. We're gonna be right back. Captain Christian Jurgens right here in Vero Beach and some Mogan trout. Y'all stay tuned. Let's go then. And I tell you what, I get so excited when Mark Nichols comes out with a new bait because everything DOA makes works well. On today's Rig It Right, I'm gonna show you what Captain Christian had me throwing out there today. Well, actually, he didn't know what I was gonna be throwing out there today, but brand new from DOA, it's the new DOA Airhead bait. And I tell you what, I get so excited when Mark Nichols comes out with a new bait because everything DOA makes works well. And this one here, first time ever a 10 pound trout on the show. In 14 years, haven't broken that double digit yet, but with the new Airhead, it definitely worked. Now, sometimes you might have to manipulate this bait just a little bit. If you see, I have a cut in the tail right there and it will make the bait just swim a little bit more. I was using a laser trocar freshwater hook and this one here has the weighted keel in it just basically to keep that bait straight up and down and give it a little bit of weight. Now the rod I was using, a 7.6 Gen 2 Flats Blue by Wright McGill, had it rigged with a 2500 Sabalo size reel and was using 15 pound test wind tamer. And if you notice this here, it's Premier Seaguar fluorocarbon. And the reason I was throwing the Premier, the water was crystal clear and these fish can see real well and they don't get big being dumb. But uh, that's about it for the Rig It Right segment today. Hope you all enjoy it. And uh, if you ever get a chance to head down to Vero Beach and fish with Captain Jurgens, I highly recommend it because he knows his stuff down there. Remember one thing, every season starts right here at Dick's. Rig It Right by Wright and Miguel. Well, what do you think, brother? You ready to put that push pole down? I sure am. <laughs> it's been fun. Well, we actually tried to show you guys a slam, bring you that big fish at the end, but uh, we showed you that big 10 pound trout today. And brother, first 10 pound trout on the show. I'm glad it was That was me. absolutely awesome. If y'all ever get a chance to come down here to Vero Beach and fish, Captain Christian Jurgens, and what is your website? CNYOnTheFly.com. Normally throws a fly rod, but we had him throwing the spinners today. But uh, don't forget about the website, AddictiveFishing.com. We got the new Mogan Lounge up. You can meet new people, post videos, post pictures, anything you want to do on that site. Great place to meet some new people to go fishing with, really. But until uh, next week, that's about it, brother. Appreciate it, man. Thank I had a ball. Enjoyed had a ball. it. Come Enjoyed fish it. with this guy. He'll put you on the fish. And the wind. <laughs> I am. See you next week. Check out more footage from this show by logging on to AddictiveFishing.com for outtakes and bloopers. Oh, 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 God. There he is. Oh. There yeah, we go. That's a good one. Oh. I'm going to ask my cameraman here if he can do the little trick on me. Yow, that hurts.